and we are ready to go. I just need to send one more message and I'll be on Twitter. Ah, balls. I'm not logged into Twitter. Well, I'll have to do it to my phone, I guess. My check, my check. Hmm. Feel a little bit squashed, don't you all think? Am I a little bit wide, wider than usual? I honestly can't, it's hard to tell sometimes. I really wish VTuber Plus would stop doing that to me. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh, you know what? I think I found out the problem with my lip syncing movements. It has to, it probably has to do with the distance the mic is away from my mouth. The distance the mic is from hearing what I'm saying. I thought that it was fairly close, all things considered, but evidently, um, that is not the case. So I don't think it is. Let me move around the mic just a bit to see but if it could be corrected somehow, I mean, it's just my imagination. Every time I update one form of technology, another issue comes up, which threatens it in some form. I guess that's just the nature of technology, really. Beep, 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 beep. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Hmm. I'll have to troubleshoot this later, I suppose. For now, it's time for more outward. Last game, last time we played outward, we completed one of the main dungeons. And we were going to head back to that dungeon to go pick up the missing key that we missed on the way out. And to loot the absolute hell out of it. So that's what we're going to be doing for the first part of today's trip. We'll see how far we can go. We're going to go look for another dungeon. Get the remaining keys. And then see if we can open the gate where the Forge Master awaits us. Maybe we'll even get done with the town, the, uh, get done with this region like in the next two sessions. Who knows?
Hopefully tomorrow we can also purchase some more purity potions or something. I am not liking this corruption chat. Not liking it one bit. Give us the big slips, the big sleeps. The biggest of sleeps. Still wonder what's going on with my <laughs> Let me double check one thing. Probably nothing though. Nope. I wonder what it could be then. Because the streaming PC should have no problem running all these programs together at once. At least I don't think it should. Could it also be due to the recent Windows updates? I'll try to ignore it. Hit then. Do I have any money? I need money to purchase these potions. Unless I could figure out how to craft them myself. The other issue I found out. So, for those of you who have been here since the beginning of this quest, I have 100 days to, so to find the Forge Master and to stop their even nefarious plans. However, when I defeated the last boss, it reduced it to 60 days. Even though it was worded to imply that they were going to give me an additional 60 days, but it's not. So now, my time limit has only decreased the time within which I have to fix this problem before the Forge Master comes over and just gives everyone a terrible day. At least I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Let's not wait around to find out, right? Is there something you need? How can I help you? Well, this is a problem. It would appear that the potion seller does not sell me to sell the potions that I need. They sure have some innocence potions though, for increasing resistance against corruption. Oh, here we go. He should do. If at all possible, I would like to craft these potions myself, but I would need to find the ingredients for them. And I could take quite a bit of scavenging, chat. Shit, this is expensive. Good thing I brought my money with me. That's alright, though. We'll be able to get it all back, eventually. Bottoms up. Ah, uh, yes. Zero corruption. Feels good, man. Now then, let's go ahead and gear up, and we're going to make a brisk run all the way down south, and we're going to loot the shit out of that dungeon. Cleaning up is a part of cooking, you know. I bring this up because cleaning up a dungeon is a part of dungeon running. We will not be needing these guns either. Put those back. Nor these. I will, however, keep the sword in case I need to defend myself. A 
help ourselves with the Master Garb. Master Trader Hat for excellent speed. Maneuverability. Ring. One water skin with us. Aside from that, I don't need much. We should be able to make a nice run of it. I guess I do need to bring some food with me, at least. Preferably something high in stamina. There we go. The massive trader's backpack might reduce my weight, might, might reduce my run speed, but it's not really a big of a deal. It's 638. If I run fast enough, I might be able to make it all the way down south and inside the dungeon before anything bad happens. If I could pull that off, maybe we won't need to take a breather. We're just going to go full sprint. Breakneck speeds, chat. That's what we're going for. Wish me luck. <laughs> Remember, from here to down there, or rather over here, I should say. Can we do it? Oh, and it's snowing. Well, that's just lovely. I got spells for that. If we go straight down south, we should be able to shave off some time. I need to avoid the noxious gases, though, and also attracting any of the wrong kinds of monsters. Unfortunately, I seem to excel at doing both of those things. That is to say, attracting the wrong kind of attention. So, we'll see what happens. So far, so good. It's only just recently become evening. But we have not seen any nasties yet so far. Spoke too soon. There's a busted up robot. They should ignore us though. Hopefully. Looks like casting a fire spell has really done a number in the cold. Must not be that cold then. So we're in a clear. Hmm. Here's the vigil pylon. We have to get across the bridge. For our left. And we run pretty fast. We able to make make some good time just now. This Vigil Tower looks a lot different from the previous ones. Makes me curious, honestly. Seems to be another dead animal within as well. Makes me curious what that thing actually is. There's like tentacles and stuff there too. Very bizarre. We need to come back and explore this later, it seems like. Oh, hey. One of those things. The little friends. All right. Oh, I'm dumb. The exit we came out of was actually the Vigil Tower.
So we need to go back inside. Appar according to the guides I was reading, apparently the key was just outside the door. Or something. Big if true. That would save me a whole lot of grief. Oh, man. Forgot to buy some anti-corruption stuff, I guess. Here it is. A gemstone key. Taking off this stone face. Let's get inside before we die from corruption. Or we get corrupted again. Since I've killed the uh, corruption beast, the uh, big corruption beast, there should be no corruption that's like blocking any of the passageways or this time. And I really hope none of the enemies that I slaughtered up the way on the way up here have respawned. That would suck right about now. Really wish I brought my lantern with me as well. Do I have any light spells? No spells will illuminate for illumination, huh? Guess we'll have to make do, chat. Thankfully, you can actually see this stuff in the ground. Thanks to these glowing markers. So maybe it's not all bad. I just hope I don't run into any nasties while we're here. Elevators. So we can get down quicker? Looks like it. This should make our exploration a lot easier, chat. Alright, cool. Let's continue exploring this level and then we'll head down. Continue our looting down there. Very convenient, I gotta say. Very convenient indeed. Here's a torch. It'd keep us nice and toasty as well. This was the entrance to the quarantine room from before. Looks like it's still corrupted though. I hope I didn't forget anything too important back here. No. Doesn't be seem anything doesn't seem to be anything here. Alright, cool. In that case, let's head back down. There's nothing else for us here. As far as I could tell, anyway. This game really hammers home just how weak these torchlights are, aren't they? Doesn't it? Guess the other one must go down. Or must go up. They both go down. Well, all right. I sure have taken for granted just how weak torch lights are compared to other forms of lighting.
wonder how big the other dungeons are in this area. Or the other dungeon is. There shouldn't be that many remaining. Honestly. Almost fell. Could have been bad. Go very quickly. Go down here to see if I missed anything and then head out. Sadly, I can't hold my breath. Seems like this area is just magically turning me into a monster. Of some kind. More so than usual, I should say. An empty chest. How much corruption have I gained so far? Only 5%. Not too bad. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Oh. Heard something. Combat music started. Oh, man. That one's a pretty a particularly tough nut to crack. I don't even want to fight it, honestly. Because it does that stupid shit. Bad idea. We're not gonna bother fighting it. Fuck that. I am not equipped. Wonder what other enemies respond. Perhaps I don't want to think about... This is not going to work. Oh, no. The droid has followed me outside. Yeah, he's a lot smarter than I give it credit for, it seems. There's no way for me to heal myself. Oh, to be careful not to take another hit beating like that. Pretty sure I clear looked through that area already. These things are already dead, thank God. Am I torch ready right now? No. Where does this lead? Actually. It's a good question. These things still work, surprisingly. Gas locked up. And there is a tent here for me to sleep in if I feel the need. What's up here then? This is an area that was closed off to me earlier. Oh, IO. Back up here again? Never mind. Guess we're just continuing down this lonesome road. Ever southward. I 
I guess southward is not technically the correct term. Ever inward. Here we go through the corruption zone once more. As quick as we can without passing out. Gonna go through here really quick to see if there's anything we may have missed. Not as far as I can tell. Back to the train station it seems. Almost got spooked there for a second. Destroy a test change reverse it is. It's rather cold in this area, but we have a solution for that, even if it is a temporary one. I'm glad I'm not bleeding, because otherwise I'd be very dead by now. Looks like it's fairly cold, though, because I am still dropping in heat with nothing to show for it on top of that. Here's a plant tent. This is just one side. Totally forgot that guy was there, or rather his corpse. Nothing over here. Check upstairs. It's like I'm burning out my stamina fairly fast, though. Some more dead creatures, I'm assuming. Yep. More of the stuff I abandoned because I did not have the space to loot their bodies. But damn, these things are difficult as hell to fight. At least at the time they were. I'll see what I can turn what I can scrape together from their corpses. And I'll sell the rest. Green key A is required. Didn't I already unlock this? And of course I left all the keys back in home. So shit. Which is weird, because I thought I unlocked that before. Right?
I wonder what these symbols mean. No matter. Let's head upstairs. It's rather hot up there, though. Should be easier to see, too. I really hope nothing respawned up here or I'm going to have a hard time. So far, so good, chap. Nothing respawned. Good deal. Good deal. Makes my job a lot easier. Okay, that spooks me for a second there. I thought something was moving at the mo in the corner of my eye. Nothing was, though. Oh, open chest. There's something down there. Chat. Of the check. Is there anything here that could heal me? No? Well, that figures. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. Sylphina incense, whatever that is. So much loot in this dungeon, I'm glad I came back. So many things to sell. Mushroom Halberd. We're filling up with garbage fairly fast, but we got we got room. Twenty three damage, huh? Look at all this delicious, delicious loot. Bag is already overweight. That's how much stuff, how much garbage we have. Damn. Good thing we have such large pockets, huh, chap? Even still, we're pretty much filled up. This place doesn't look creepy at all. No siree. Get out the torch. Let's see what we're working with here. Huh? A palladium mine. Shit. Ooh, an ornate chest. Fancy. A very expensive check ram. Very nice. Coral antler, the keys I played. Good deal. Good shit. Great shit, I would even say. Can't mind that right now, though. Sadly. Uh, the corpse down here has some interesting potions. Yeah, there are blood mushrooms here as well.
I mean, making ourselves a lot plenty of health potions, it seems. I think once we loot the other room over there, we should be good for this dungeon. Should be able to just head out, head on out. Even got this nice chog staff to use as a lighting implement. I'm fairly heavy now, but. I think we're all pretty much set. No elevator here. Let's go ahead and exit. Oh, almost forgot. Glad we don't need to fight that thing. It would have been very annoying. But something tells me we'll have to fight it eventually at some point in this game. This big ass trog. We did loot this cave earlier, didn't we? The trog chest is closed. Get ourselves some more green mushrooms for the road. And we'll get going, chap. Oh man, we are really full. Let's see if we can rebalance our load a little bit, huh? No, I made things worse. Who'd have thought? Instead, make ourselves some bandages. We'll drink some water. Forge some iron spikes because we are definitely in need of those. Make some bullets. And use up some of the materials that we were able to find, but not all of it. I wonder what else I have forgotten. Things that I've missed for the course of this gameplay. This Trog Spear is quite useful for being able to see, I'm not going to lie. Makes it easier to cast magic too, apparently. But it's fairly garbage. 12 damage total. 6 slashing. 6 uh, arcane. Slow attack speed. Very low du durability. It's very pretty, but little else. I digress. We're finally done with this dungeon, chap. Let's head on out. Let's head on back home. Let's recuperate and continue our adventures in Atford. I'm glad to see the Vibers have apparently respawned. A very beautiful day outside though, I'm not gonna lie. Must be morning. It's five in the morning apparently. Hmm. We do have a tent up ahead. In the center of all this beautiful magical stuff. Magical gobbledygook. 
of which we will take a nice drink. Honestly, we could probably fill up some wa our water skin here, can't we? <laughs> Build our water skin here full of magical mana water. Leyline water, I should say. That creature will prove troublesome. I just know it. Let's get rid of him. But first... I'm gonna make some more cloth. Since we got a helpful... Uh, alchemy kit here. We could probably use that to... Make ourselves some food and some potions. With, what, with our spoils that we found. But first... Go ahead and deal with a little creature, shall we? Try out this Kazai Great Blade. Ow, shit! You countered attacked? Interesting. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Your corpse is mine. As is your meat. That is a very nasty looking horror creature over there. I do not feel confident about my chances of killing it. I might have to try avoiding it. As long as it's not anywhere near our tent, we should be good though. Oh, well that was a waste. Need some fire eggs. At least I think the tent was over there, right? I'll have to look for it, I guess. I think it's facing the other direction. Really don't want to have to fight that thing right now, whatever the hell it is. Looks like it can kick my ass. Looks sort of like an illuminator, except different somehow. More like a centaur of some kind. Damn, where is my tent? It's up here, right? Or it was? I mean... It should be right here, because this is where I had a campfire... And here, there are clearly some butterflies floating overhead. Did I go... Did I put it somewhere else? Is there sanctuary somewhere else? I'm freezing to death. Drink some water really quick, chat. The water doesn't seem to be fixing my thirst. This is quite problematic. 
quite problematic indeed. At least we could still run. Yeah, something's not right. My campfire and my tent are missing. Oh, and that bison is not particularly happy to see me either. It's fairly late in the evening when I set up that stuff, so maybe I set it up somewhere else and I just forgot. I could have sworn I set it up over here. We are safe. The other possibility is that I put over there next to the blood altar, but I don't see it. Where did it go? Hmm. No matter. Let us head home, chap. If we can. This doesn't seem to be anything else waiting for us here. At least I now know where to go if I ever need some more... Bison skin. Use a little bit of discipline to increase our defenses and to make us move a little bit faster. All in the elements to see if they can assist us with some way. Looks like they gave me extra DK, which is not exactly what I wanted, but not the worst thing, I guess. Definitely far from the worst. Heading north from here may prove a little bit more difficult than I remembered. But if we go this way, it should be okay. In fact, there's Cabal of the Wind Temple right there. So we'll probably have to go. We probably should be able to follow this route back home. Emphasis on probably. Oh! I'm dumb. I thought they were dead. Well, this just got a whole lot more complicated. Normally, I would be able to take these things down were it not for their AoE attack. Which is fairly annoying, let me tell you. Oh. Stupid asshole can't even get down from it. Easy to get down from ledge. We might be on our way back. We might be home free, chap. There's a little dinosaur there, though. That could be a problem. That's not a dinosaur. That's a shield golem. That's one of those... Uh, or hit one of those alien shield monster things. Which means they are troublesome. You know, what would having laser beams and shit for their eyes. If we can just get across this bridge without him noticing us, we should be good. But since when have we ever been that lucky? If he sees us, we're screwed like this, chat.
never really know what the line of sight th line of sight is on these things. Oh, what do you know? I should be able to just sell my wares here instead. Greetings, the Sorborian Kevener. Mana heart base. I think I'll keep the ingredients. I could use those. Don't need an additional alchemy kit and don't really need another cooking pot. What do you know how to make this? I'm going to keep the antlers in case I need those. I don't need any cold stones right now. You son of a fucking bitch! It's a good thing. The merchant doesn't have the funds I need now. What the hell were you doing? And the shield golem just casually goes in my general direction until... And I won't... The game won't let me escape. Oh, fuck you. We're in a... Not this wood, Not this dungeon. Great. And here I thought I killed everyone in this dungeon already. But no. I'll have to do this shit all over again, won't I? Ah. This will help. That's one way to escape the dungeon, I suppose. I just hope that it lets me keep my backpack or I'm going to morb very hard. <laughs> and thankfully it did. Thank you, Gip. For once, you actually helped out. <laughs> oh my god. Well, since we're here, might as well see what we can cook up, right? Literally and figuratively. Some antidotes. Crystal powders. Some fire stones. Some antidotes. Disassemble this. Dry mushroom fire. Where in the world are we? I don't have a tent with me, so I can't just take call it quits here. Our best bet's just to head home. But where is home? We must be over here then. So with any luck, we should be able to head north. Yeah. I see some wolf mercenaries. These guys are friendly. They won't attack us, thankfully. From here, I guess it's just a long walk home. Oh, 
I wonder if what I'm going to be playing after Outwards finish. Maybe a heavily modified version of Skyrim. I never finished. I never finished Morrowind either. That might be a possible option. Or Oblivion, I should say. heavily modded oblivion hopefully one like that will not crash repeatedly or at least has relatively few crashes crashes fewer times than i do you know what i'm saying There's our home in the distance. Closer than it seems. What a day, huh? Or what a week, huh? It's only Wednesday. It's actually been pretty quiet this stream. I guess everyone's busy with something. It's just how it is sometimes. Greetings, friend. Not bad. Not bad at all. I always do have a mistake. Honestly. Oh, I wasn't supposed to use that. <laughs> Slip of the mind. Go 
dump that. Bring some of this to reduce corruption. Get myself a empty bottle of water. In fact, so let me go ahead and pull out all of my usables here. See what we can cook, what we can build out of things we got. What vast devices can I cre can I create with the ingredients available to me right now? Cure is sapped. Hmm. Cure is weakened. Fresh cream. Gateberry wine. Flour. Goodbye seeds. That should be good. Apparently I'm hungry, chat. Let's do something about that. And what a great number of things we can make. A pungent paste. An ocean for cost, though. We haven't made it for cost in a long time. Honestly. But it seems like such a waste to make that from a mana heart bass, which is fairly ex which is fairly rare as far as creature these creatures go. But also use more fungal cleanser. Let's we'll start with that. We got some flour. And use flour, water, and salt to make some delicious bread. No mind if I do. I would like to, but I would prefer to make Ocean for Cost out of a decidedly cheaper fish. You could probably buy some cheap ones from here. What do you need? Sure enough, here's some Azure shrimp. Cheesecake. Common fish that's edible, but rots quickly and make one ill. These are fairly cheap. We'll buy five of them. Looks like I already know how to cook all these things. That's no big deal. Hold up. Oh! I was wondering why I didn't make as much money as I wanted from selling all that equipment. Because I didn't sell all that equipment. Need something? Need to sell these too. Oh, not this one. There we go. 128. Marble shield. They have some interesting items here, don't they? Six, 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 six. <laughs> uh, my lucky number. 
Could have thunk it. But I've heard the pirate. Well, well, well. I did not expect me to be making part of the pirate, but I do not mind. Let's go ahead and use the rest to make some raw, make some ocean fracas, a meat stew from this beef, flavor with crawberry. If you make these, he'll give you toast. I wonder what happens if I try to cook nothing but these bones, predator bones. One food waste added. Well, that was a waste. Get it? Waste. The fact that you can use the predator bones implies that they can be used for something. The question is what? Ah, well, what do you know? It was possible. We've made Boolean the Predator, whatever that is. Boolean the Predator. Soup which, which restores stamina and increases the physical damage one deals to foes. Wow. I like the sound of that, chat. Now, I believe there's something you could do with getting all of Geb's, with getting several of Geb's drinks. The question is what? And I do have several of Geb's drinks. That's how many times I've died in this game. Several drinks that I've not used, I mean. Why don't we see what all this Geb drinks, all these Geb drinks do? Assuming I didn't use all of them already. In the, during the boss battle. They seem to be missing. I could have sworn I would have. I thought I, they would be here. I didn't think I used all of them. Hmm. Well, there's only three backpacks here, so. Well, this is unfortunate, chat. We will have to wait a little bit longer after all to figure out what it all does. Hmm. Use that runic console and destroy test chambers. We will reactivate the rune train to the mana transfer station. Oh no. Do I have to go back there? I guess so. Let's go ahead and collect all these things first, though. Make use of them. Still got one plant tent left. Bozo meat. Does not interfere with the user's roll, user's roll, but protects against corruption. That's very helpful. Maybe we should be using that in this area instead. You are hungry? Well, let's do something about that, huh?
I wonder if I toast the bread if it would spoil a lot slower. Still mildly upset that Oh. Well, what do you know? I can still make potions. How many hex cleaners do I have left, actually? You can never have enough hex cleaner, it feels like, honestly. Nerve gas charge. Ethereal and pain is kind of a mood. Not gonna lie. We got some pressure plates. We don't have any fire one any fire ones anymore. So it's not not exactly the worst idea. Got plenty of antidotes too. Oh my goodness. That's actually a lot of 30 nerve gases. We don't need that many, chat. I didn't realize how much equipment we actually had bought. I wonder what kind of money we'd be getting for this, honestly. Can I help you? Three each. Not bad. Give me all your pressure plate traps, please. All your regular traps, too. So at this point, we should have around 10 pressure plate traps, I believe. We can get away with selling... Any of these? Not bad. Really wondering if I should get the Warbo. Thank you. I don't really need all these things, so we're going How to help you? remove some of them. Apparently these, ether these elemental particles are fairly expensive, and they were kind of a bitch to get, so I'll hold on to those. But I don't need all these star mushrooms. They're going to spoil before I get to use them. I need this. Interesting. Reduces the mana costs. Eh, don't need those. This is pretty good for restoring burnt stamina in a jiffy. I used up all my special elixirs during the last fight, last during the last boss battle. 
These are all fairly expensive too. I need all these life potions. I don't need all these fire rags anyway. Got plenty of those. Got plenty of fire rags. Don't need that. It's elemental immunity potion stuff is kind of broken, not gonna lie. Probably gonna need that. Oh my god, reduces skill cooldowns? I need that too. Everything here is expensive, not gonna lie. I should probably just go out on a harvest on a uh, scavenging spree, collecting items to make my own potions. This is kind of these are really expensive. I'm tempted to sell my wolf chakra, but I know I'll need it. I hope he's not ripping me off. Or there'll be hell to pay. Crystal powder is really expensive. I never really use it to restore burnt stamina, or burnt mana for that matter. Need one of these, at least. Survivor elixir is also important. Alright. This will have to be the end of our trading. I think we've been to the mana transfer station, have we? We'll have to find out. Give me the gemstone key. Keep the money. Load up all our various, various guns. And we do have many guns. As much as I love the way the Brass Wolf backpack has given me some protection, 
Boozy high backpack. Not going to interfere with my roll, slow my dodge, or... And protects me from corruption. So I will need to wear that instead. Also, I took all the time to build it. I might as well use it, right? Looks like it kind of reduces my pocket size, though. Or does it? Where'd all my clothes go? What the? Yo, my clothes are gone. What happened? What kind of weird ass glitch is that? Seriously? Where are my clothes? How did I get here? <laughs> uh, this game is fucking weird, I swear. Alright. Let's do this again. Royal Horn Bow, Pickaxe, Old Lantern. I guess I don't really need the Pickaxe, except when I'm going on a looting spree. And even then, I'll just carry it in my offhand. Arrows. Equip the arrows. Bring every single key that I need. Every key. Bullets. And what I'm going to do really quick is to load all my guns with appropriate ammunition. It also just occurred to me how much, how little ammunition that I have left as much as I've used them. They're good to go whenever I need to, whenever I need them. Alright, all my guns are loaded. Continue looking through here for stuff that I need. I say stuff that I need, but I know in my heart that I'm not going to need all of this junk. I need to look into using less of them, if anything. That's so hard for me sometimes. Just the bare necessities and all that, right? Harder than you might think. At least for me. 
I like being overprepared for stuff. Often to my detriment, unfortunately. Alright. Check out the trader's backpack now. See what I need to take from here. Arrows. Doing potions. Health potions. Cleaners, ability potions, warrior potions, stone flesh elixir. Pull in the predator. Don't need to bring too many of these. May two. A little cleanser for removing poison and diseases is always useful. Like always. Probably need to make more of those later. Some f this food. Just take one of these each, maybe. We seem to be ready. Ready for what, though? That's anyone's qu that's anyone's guess. know if we've even been to the mana transfer station honestly makes me wonder if i should visit because we only got one of the gemstone keys and i'm afraid that i might have actually missed one Check a guide really quick just to see.
The next one, Gemstone A, should be with a Titanic Guardian MK7. Or I can go to the compromised mana transfer station. So either way, we'll need to head back to the turbine zone anyway. Lost Golem Manufacturing Facility. Haven't I been there before? Near the blue lever which unlocks a door next to a grotesque and two illuminator horrors? Have I been here? Why does that sound so familiar? I have been here. It requires activating the shortcut rope. So... I don't even need to step outside. I must have just missed it then. At least I assume I just missed it. <laughs> At least we have a general area we can go towards. Let's make sure we don't have it already. Why do I keep getting hungry? Jeez, man. There's no doubt about it. We must have missed it. It's easy to miss things in this game, you know. Alright. Once more into the breach, it seems. It's only 12 in the afternoon. We need to bring a water jug with us. Aw, the lantern's hanging from the little, uh, nose piercing. That's cool. Looks like I should probably take a rest, though. Just a little bit. Ah, fuck it. Tomorrow, then. Food hasn't spoiled all that much. It's now five in the morning next day.
One second. Here we go. Hmm. Old Theater Bridge it is. Hard to believe that it's going to be Christmas time fairly soon. I'll get to see what all this hub, what all this hubbub is about the holidays. It certainly sounded fun to me, but I'll be the main judge of that one time. have gone a little too far south shouldn't have been able to see shouldn't be able to see this in the distance Did we get lost again this always happens guess we're about to find out we're taking the scenic route as it were Park, something moves in the distance. Looks like one of them robots. Hopefully a fairly weak one, but we'll try to avoid it for now because I don't want to fuck with those right now. It, however, will probably choose to fuck with us instead. That's how it goes in this bitch of an earth. Hey, if I'm reading this map correctly, however, our destination should be just across this bridge. Hopefully.
Oh, another one. Hey, a Sorborian Kevener. That's convenient. Greetings, friend. Very convenient indeed. I have nothing to sell to you right now, though. But soon, presuming our expedition is successful. Hmm. Expedition. Kind of makes me think of uh, Shatter, Shatter Line again. A mantis shrimp. Thanks to the shortcut, we won't need to go as far. Oh? Ayo? I don't remember opening this chest here. Is a mask, palladium scrap, alchemy kit. We'll have to get this on the way out, or I'll probably forget about it, but, you know, it's not that important. I just need to remember to grab it next time, I suppose. So peaceful out here. It's kind of strange, but I just thought of Hey You Pikachu for some reason. <laughs> We are back in the law school and manufacturing facility. Apparently the gem key is somewhere down here. And I just missed it somewhere. What's it say again? Near the blue lever which unlocks a door next to a grotesque and two illuminator horrors. So it must be in this room somewhere. Because there's two gro Illuminator Horrors, there's a Grotesque. We need a little bit more specific directions than that, actually. Heaven boy, welcome back. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. How are you tonight? And thank you for contributing to the consuming. We are well on our way there, I think. Thank you for the gamer pride redeem and the head pet redeem. And the pixelation redeem. And the heart emojis, how you doing? Gemstone Key C is located in the arena on the far side of the Old Peter's Bridge. Doing good? I'm glad to hear it. I'm just doing some backtracking to find some quest items that apparently I missed. I'm getting two different uh, answers here. Apparently, this one is located in the arena on the far side of the Old Peter's Bridge.
Doing good. Glad to hear it. In the arena on the far side of the old Peter's Bridge. Um. All right. In the arena on the far side of the old Peter's Bridge. Did I already pick up Gemstone C and just like misplace it or something? Because I feel like I should have this and I am tripping. Let me check just to make sure. I think I'm tripping here. Check out guides really quick. Walkthroughs. Look up the outward, the uh, game facts for outward really quick. One guide. Guide and walkthrough. Let me see here. There are no table of contents. Oh, great. This is not very helpful. It's for the base game, but not the expansions. Which is weird, too, because I could have sworn I read it somewhere. I was reading about how they were in different locations. Where is this? Is it in this room? Because here's the two illuminators that you're talking about. Where is this thing, honestly?
feel like I'm missing something important. One of the downsides to playing an indie game is sometimes not enough people have played it to have written reviews of it or walkthroughs of it. So if it's one of those games that it's easy to miss things, well, you're going to miss it. You're going to have a hell of a time figuring it out. The last time I went through this dungeon, I just used traps and everything, and I can't really afford to do that right now. So this is very problematic, as you might imagine. Don't really have that much in the way of arrows either, so we can't just range them from afar. We could probably... Just shoot them to death, but I'm at running low on bullets as well. Once we find gemstone C, we might just continue take a train ride towards the mana transfer station. Give us some time, you know. We gotta go. That sense. Invigorating potion? Yeah. About that. Isn't good? Dude, why didn't you tell me that? Ancient note. It paints. Cut off as they are. The clock. Uh. Call it on this one over here. Oh, hey, hey, that's one of the gemstone keys. Sweet. Um, so the gemstone key was in the mask house outside after all, but this I know I've gone through here before, right? So why do I only have one of the gemstone keys? Am I tripping? Did I forget it somewhere? Oh! No, I'm dumb. I know why you don't remember having it. It's because I already placed it into the terminal. I'm not actually physically carrying it with me anymore. I don't even need to be here. But since I'm here anyway... Let's go ahead and sneak our way to the train station, and we're going to ride all the way to the other side of the of the map of the of the uh, underground facilities. Because you know you could do that, presuming you can get to the train station without getting molested anyway. But that'll just be a nice little uh, advent mini adventure for us, won't it? It took me a while to realize, like, wait, we already did all this. I don't want to do all this again, you know? And you don't have to. Oh, I don't remember this being here. I think everything just respawned, chat. I don't remember this stuff being here. Not that I'm complaining. I don't really need these brutal knuckles, so I'll have to sell those or turn them into something, but everything else is fine. I wonder how much stuff I'll have to fight my way back through, if anything. There's the train station right there, actually. I was right. We should be able to just make our way back downstairs and head over there. As long as not too many other monsters respawned. We should be able to head downstairs. Oh... Glorious. Many, all of the monsters respawned. This will not be easy. This 
try not to get too greedy either. There you are, the train station. This is not a train station, what am I saying? This appears to be the Golem the main Golem manufacturing center. The train station must be a little bit further down. I know all these places are connected to each other. The trouble is remembering how. It's no wonder they never clean these things out of all the monsters. They just respawn. What a pain. Yari yari daze. Ah, here we are. And just like that, we're finally back in the train station, chat. This is where we need to be. Oh, but we will need to still sneak past all these horrors. Or run past them, as it were. Very convenient. We're back in the mana transfer station. Very pog. Let's go ahead and unlock the doors and we'll make our way onwards to the mana to the uh, destroy to the compromised mana facility. Or such. Just need to find the controls for that, though. It's somewhere around here. But where is it? Forcing myself to sprint everywhere is really killing my stamina. Unfortunately. Yeah, I hope you don't get back up. Anytime soon. Because, geez, that dungeon was a pain in the ass. Okay. Station, station. Not over here. Must be on the other side. Eat some food while we're down here, I suppose. That did not increase to my did not increase my stamina. Not the worst thing ever, but here it is. All aboard! Let's 
see how long this mission's gonna, this dungeon's gonna be. As before, we're gonna do our best to avoid spending time looting the room because it's gonna take a while. We'll come back later to loot it later. Let me rearrange my seat to be a little bit more comfortable, chat. Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What dangers await us here? An abandoned ticketing counter right here. This place is hella abandoned. We still got one plant tent seed. There's already an Illuminator Horror in front of us. These devices are all still active, it looks like. We'll have to be extra careful. We don't have any armor this time. We don't have as much armor this time. My bow really needs some repairs, doesn't it? What is that? Oh my goodness. Three of them. This ought to be interesting. one of you very well oh both all three of them all those things are homing but I appear to be wrong I might be able to take them but oh well Light magic? What is that? Or ice magic? Lightning magic, it seems like. Oh man, these things pick a punch. What's this? Lawler actually buffing himself before a fight? Yes, it does sometimes happen. Believe it or not. Staying in that ring area effect, those DKs are, have been the end of me several times now. But not this time. Truly, with just a bit of preparation, suddenly these, these fights are not so bad. Still have to think on my feet though, and consume one of my consumables. Got plenty more where I came from, I guess. Now that they've been dealt with, let's go ahead and explore the rest of this area. Hmm? Some grilled eel. Version in this room.
Loki, I hope this dungeon is not quite as long as the others. It's been taking a while to beat these things, you know? What does this lead? Up, up, and away. Mana transfer station. All these mystical hexes. A testament to their engineering that these things are still standing many god knows aeons since their last use. Dead scavenger. I'll be taking his potions. These will actually be useful for me in the immediate term. Manage to stabilize the mana flow again. This is the maximum we can use to charge the golems without risking total collapse of the ley line. And yet, we still can't meet the demands of our golem army. If only we were able to ask for help from the electric lab in the Reserve Plains. We're going to have to send golems out with less than maximum power. And I hope that this is enough. And that extended maximum usage doesn't cause a leak. I guess it did or something. That's unfortunate. <laughs> This is a mess. And it's really dark down there. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No. This stupid motherfucker. It's been a while since I fought a greater shield horror. Like this one. Did he get stuck? That would be ideal. Honestly. Wonder how much, how well Eldritch damage does against him. We're about to find out. Because I sure as hell am not fighting that thing head on. Some of you may remember the last time I got to fight one of these things. It was not a fun time. I won in deep part by luck. Good thing I brought 10 of these little bad boys after all. Nerve gas bomb, nerve bombs. The question is, how many nerve bombs, to, nerve mines does it take to kill a greater shelled horror? We will soon find out. Or of nerve gas chap, I guess. Hey, bitch, I'm Rick. Oh, are you? That's funny. Wow. My attacks actually did a fair amount of damage to him. Usually, at a time like this, I'd be making fun of the game's design, but you know. Oh, it's actually not doing that much damage. Hmm. That's disappointing. I wonder if they can suffer from greater poisoning, or whatever that's called. Looks like they do suffer damage after all. But they do heal as well. So we won't be able to use that from that from very often forever. That's right. Run right over here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh goodness. He was able to walk right through all of them. 
I had to kill him right then and there, though. Because if I hadn't, well, he was just going to regain all his health from all those nerve traps. Looks like some of the nerve... It looks like some of my traps survived. Didn't step on all of them. Just a bunch of them. Worth. Totes worth. Stuff like that still spooks me when it happens from time to time. I wonder if I need to fight any more of those. Down here? Oh, snap. Oh, okay. That one's not as hard. We'll take this guy out. It's fine. Annoying, sure, but... Not that bad. These things are oddly fleshy for being called elementals, you know? At least it's going based off of lore from other video games. Always gotta have some tea. Hope I don't need to find any more of those anytime soon. Damn, it's hard to see in here. Is a pistol, wang, and a warrior elixir. I'll take everything there. I won't bother looting that. I won't bother looting that later, I should say. Oh, Ayo, what's over here? A junk pile. Reduces skill cooldowns. <laughs> Useful. New room. Soldier's corpse. Uh, yet more and more necessary ingredient, necessary items to take immediately. Quite generous this game has been. All things considered. I wonder what those words mean outside. This must have been an elevator or something. This gate opens. Man, a chance for elevator key is required. Boss at the end of this dungeon is a goal, a massive golem of sorts. Uh, almost fell to my death again. It seems. I can only imagine that it must be the golem must be holding onto it or something, or something is. Getting a little frustrated here. Need to find a way to get down there. Oh, ow. 
Hey, it worked, I guess. It worked. Ian's justifies the memes. Rifsty, well, thank welcome to the stream. Sorry I didn't see you there immediately. You redeemed an Ara Ara. I will do my best. It's been a while since I was asked to do an Ara Ara. Ara Ara. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Ooh, a horror greatsword. Don't mind if I do. I actually have all these pieces too. Bang great sword's not that hard to get make. This does also 52 damage. Wow. So sleepy. It's 1235 and you got to wake up at 630. Why are you still awake then? You should go to bed, sleepyhead. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that you came down here to spend time with me, but... I've been here before. Gee, I wonder what this says. You need background noise so so you choose me because I'm a cutie. Aww. I am honored to be your background noise for today for tonight. You've seen me play afterward before, right? This has fairly calming music, except when I'm screaming my head off. But and I did just kill a major a uh, greater horror a greater shield horror. So, I don't expect I'll be facing any of those again for a little while. So maybe it'll be fairly relaxed for a little bit. No promises though. This game has a way of creeping up on you, you know. Already I know I'm missing something. Maybe I went the wrong direction somewhere. I have never seen or heard of this game and I am intrigued but at the same time it's hard to watch because my eyes are barely open. Fair enough. Also this dungeon is fairly dark on the inside. So I can only imagine that it would be hard to keep your eyes open. This is an open world survival RP or open world survival action RPG fantasy. Has a, a rather interesting aesthetic compared to most fantasy games though, if I may do if I may so say myself. So it can get quite wild quite quickly. We're sort of in a kind of magitech I also want to go ahead and say goodnight in case I pass that soon. You like it? Well, good night to you too, and I'm glad you like it. I do stream this every Wednesday, so if you ever are interested in seeing more of it, you know where to find me. <laughs> yeah, I just need to figure out where to go next. Uh, did I forget to push this button? I guess so.
Oh, I did not forget to push this button. I know what this is. Let's try going upstairs this way then. See if it's any different. Yeah, next time maybe I won't be a sleepy head. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a head pat. Looks like I'll need to get on the other side of this of this bridge. So there must be oh, thank you for the head pat. <laughs> so there must be a way around it somewhere. And voila. Up, oh, more horrors to fight. Hopefully there's just the one. Oh, there's two of them. Looks like they always come and go and come in pairs. Which is just as well, I suppose. Let's uh have ourselves a bite to eat before we engage in any fisty cuffs, shall we? have some meats too. Yep. Um, game. I hate it when you get attacked when you're in the process of eating or drinking something. The animation for eating or drinking doesn't stop, so you just sort of take it in the face repeatedly. And yes, you can quote me on that. Totally. Can't do that right now? Why? All right. Yeah, individually these things aren't so hard, but in the pairs, they are a pain in the ass. <laughs> and I think I already died. Great. I hope I don't get teleported outside. I got teleported outside. Which means my food is probably going to be spoiling by now. <laughs> hey, when it happens, because then I have to figure out where the hell I went. And I have to make my way all the way back inside. In this case, it appears that I've been teleported outside of bandit camp again. It gets so fucking annoying. I guess it beats dying permanently. Oh, never mind. We're, I guess we're in the wolf camp. So we must be over here. Should be a little bit easier to head back to our original location then.
because unfortunately we're not going to be ending stream tonight until we beat the mana transfer station. Why did I say unfortunately? So we go down here. We should be able to. My God, this is going to take so long. If we go straight east, we'll just be have. To, we will just need to go across the map as opposed to around the map, which should take considerably less time. Hopefully we won't freeze our tits off before we get there. We have to get over there. Chat. At least that's the most expedient. I guess we could go to the sealed warehouse instead, too, but I don't want to... F I want to complete the mana transfer station since we found that one first. Another option we can do is to go in through the vigil tower. Go in through the vigil tower. Since that also has a train station. That might be the most expedient thing we can do, actually. Even though it's going to be very, very annoying. Ignore all the Vibers. I wonder if this is like the central point where all the horrors popped out. And that's the reason why all the crystals and all the tentacles are here. Because it seems oddly convenient, right? Only problem is the corruption, of course. Glad I don't need to wait for the trains to be in the proper place before using them. That's kind of a realism oversight that they overlooked, hopefully intentionally, because it would be very inconvenient otherwise. That's where we need to be. Station. Ah, another dead end. That's just my rotten luck. Here it is, though. Just like that, we are able to make it back to the place we need to be.
There we go. And just like that, we're back. It's kind of embarrassing losing to those two Illuminator Horrors, considering they're on the weaker end of the spectrum of the difficulty of the uh, difficult monster di difficult monsters tree. If I was just a little bit more patient, I would have taken them down a lot easier. This game is built on patience, but unfortunately, I don't have much of it. It's good medicine, for sure. Oh, this goes to the next floor. I didn't notice that. We're gonna go the old fashioned the, uh, stairwell way, though, since we went that way last time. There we go. That thing is wicked. You need to be careful to preserve it. This time, we're going to play it a little bit safer. Going to weaken the shit out of them first. Just like that. Already dead. Took some decent damage, but I can heal that. Surprised how easily I was able to kill that shelled horror the uh, Illuminator though. Only a couple of sh waste place shot. I don't know if I got lucky or what. I don't remember them being that easy to kill. No ammunition equipped. No ammunition needed, it seems. Death. I'll need to pick up those bones later. They make a great broth. Now, what do we got up here? Oh, boy. This will be quite a... This will be annoying. Only two? Maybe not as annoying as I thought. They really do not like being shot. That one doesn't like being shot anyway. One at a time. I take him out one at a time. Alright, that's one down. This one should be fine as well. Oh, fuck me. That AoE is disgusting. Got him. Tiny shards of elemental particle light. We got him, chap. Before we forget, reload our guns. And fill them with shotgun shells, or shotgun bullets.
This is not spooky at all. Too spooky for me. What we got here. It's so dark. Another broken bot in a control room and a dead corpse. Wario elixir and some perpkins. And I transfer an elevator key. Cool. Did I gain any corruption from eating that fruit just now? I probably did. Yeah, but under the 15%. Wow. Please tell me I remembered to pack some anti-corruption poison. Uh, I did not. So I'm going to be corrupted fairly soon. Well, that's just prime. Hopefully, I will not need to purge myself just yet. These elevators sure are convenient, though. Let me tell you. Now then. Head back the way we came. And we will go ahead and check out the... area beyond the mana transfer station. What destiny awaits us herein? What horrors lurk? I went the wrong direction again. Did I? I feel like something bad's gonna happen when I flip the switch. That's typically how these games turn out, right? What's awaiting us on the other side of this elevator? I wonder. Nothing good, that's what... that's what. This room is full of corruption. It's a good thing we have a corruption reducing bag, but... It's still cringe. Still very unpog. We can't afford to stay here for long. The 
some food. In a tent? Don't mind if I do. We should probably sprint. I don't want to stay here longer than any longer than I need to. Looks like the entire area is corrupted though. And it's all dark, so it'll be difficult to find what we need. I haven't seen anyone else living around here yet, which is a good thing. Ah, an ornate chest. So many good things. A wolf mage boots? This game really wants me to just be overweight, doesn't it? 84.175, that's not good. Nightmare shrooms. It's a good thing that my bag doesn't restrict my move, my dodge, but this is still going to be annoying when I eventually do have to fight something. Why is there so much corruption in this room anyway? Oh, uh, well, that is unsettling. Um, hmm. Yes, the skeletons appear to have emerged within the machinery. The bones have penetrated the skeletons like some kind of disturbing hentai. Uh, you are getting tainted. Yes, thank you, game. I totally did not recognize that. Why, why did I not bring cleansing potion, potions with me? Huh? Gemstone key B. Awesome. Within the mouth of one of these things. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Holy shit! God damn it! I was wondering why it was so easy. Bastard. Yes, of course it couldn't be that easy. One of you assholes just had to be hiding, huh? Oh my fucking god. Fuck you and the eldritch spawn that spawned you. You know what, just for that, I'm gonna stick around just to make sure that you die. Am I being tainted by the evil radiation thing? Yeah, I am. I don't care right now. We are going to make sure that you die. You stupid motherfucker. You scary piece of shit. You bane of my existence. I don't think this is going to be enough traps. But we'll see. Thanks to the power of my bag, we should be able to stay sane long enough to kill the shit out of this guy. Maybe. I have been known to be wrong on occasion. You know? This dungeon was not nearly as long as I expected it to be either. But I won't hold my breath. It's a good thing he's still stuck on the wall on the game ge walls ge on the uh, geometry of the game. I did think it seemed a little too convenient that. Gemstone key was just waiting there, waiting waiting there to be picked up. Yeah, that's right. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Through sheer 
stepping on like nine traps and also one of my nerve gas traps or four nerve gas traps totally worth it your soul is mine by the way now there is one more horror here we're gonna kill it too maybe i should let the uh illuminated guy just murder the crap out of all of the horrors that exist in this world Oh my goodness, you are a ugly son of a bitch, and I will not be able to kill you. Not as I am right now, anyway. Eh, fucking hate that homing shit. I wonder if they also regenerate. Or that's just the shelled horrors. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Looks like it takes extra damage from that gun for whatever reason. It's a good thing he's fairly slow. I say, minutes before dying, I'm sure. <laughs> His eyes fell off. Ah, oh, that was totally worth. Pure illuminator, huh? Purely dead bitch all right was able to redistribute the weight to my backpack looks like our corruption level is getting a little high though 55% not good. We'll need to get out of here as soon as we can. I wonder if this game is affecting me negatively. Affecting my base code. Every time I get corrupted, it feels like I'm being corrupted in the meat space world as well. Strange idea, I know, but you never know. I wonder what this button does. A gate's been unlocked somewhere. Could it be a shortcut to the exit, maybe? This helpful ramp. Oh, ho, ho. <sighs> Shortcut. That wasn't so bad. How much of a crowd tonight, huh? It is a busy week, I guess. Where are we, chat? Wherever we are, it's definitely not safe. That's for damn sure. Let's try and orient ourselves really quick. A blood altar to our left. Along with some wooden palisades. Some blood dinosaurs. A big bonfire over there. Some watchtowers.
switch to two of these railroads side by side, forming a V. That's to the east. Ah! So, it must be over here in place. Wolfgang Mercenary Camp must be over there to the left. Where we could take shelter. Yeah. I see the Kazai Bandit Camp over there. This must be the abandoned fort. Alright then. Stop by the Wolfgang Mercenary Camp. And we will head back home. I was thinking about coming back here to loot, and I might still do that just because there isn't that much to loot anyway. Shouldn't take very long. Of course, every time I say that, it does take a long time, doesn't it? I don't know. I think that was still a lot easier. Now we just need to complete the warehouse, and we would have gotten every every D, every key. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Sure hope the mercenaries will let me stay here for the evening. But that's alright, I got two of these plant tents anyway. I'm going to put it over here in the side so it's not in the way. <laughs> Ambush here? That seems unlikely. Outside, I can hear the sounds of the mercenaries doing battle with the critters which inhabit the outside world. Hope they're winning. That's fairly loud, too. Let's go see what they're up to.
How do we get out of here again? This way, right? One of the first things I want to do when I get back home is to craft a horror great sword. Only problem is the weapon I'm using right now is fairly decent against horrors, given that it does lightning damage. But I don't really want to get off of it or stop using it. I imagine it would do wonders against everything else, though. When we get, but when we finish this quest line, we head back. That's definitely who we're gonna use it on. Bandits and the like. Take these two. Here it is. We should be able to cross this and then head straight north. A quiet day. I wonder if we can take a shortcut through the mountains. We better not. Or should we?
Those robots do not look damaged in the slightest. Thing they didn't see us. Yeah, then. Let's sell our spoils. Need something. These wolf knuckles only have a few points on the wolf bow. Damn, they wolf have wolf everything, don't they? Present sky. No wolf axe. <laughs> wolf mace. They got wolf everything. Surprised they don't have a regular claymore in here. A regular two handed sword. Guess it'll be a little bit before you find that. Can I help you? We could find one. We can just go ahead and make our horror weapon now. You better have the money. You better have the money. Or what? Or you'll do what to me? 30 ethereal defense? 26 slashing defense. If I didn't know better, I'd almost see that, these, that the wolf mercenaries were specifically developed to fight against horrors. And of course, the resistance to cold on top of that. Silver armor, meanwhile, is a resistance against poison. Very nice. I've been slowly but surely collecting all the wolf sets stuff, so I need to hold on to these things. How can I help you?
Prison Skype, huh? Oh, I can make one of these. That's fairly easy to do. The horror great sword is obscene. Just straight up. Inflicting extreme poison. Serves them right, I guess. Is there something you need? Why did they charge so much for an alchemy kit? I think they're ripping me off here. Honestly. That's right. Need to buy some anti-corruption. How can I help you? Please. Give me all of it. 351? Son of a bitch. Like hell I'm paying that much. You bastard. Yeah. I'll just get my own anti-corruption. With blackjack and hookers. And second thought, hold the blackjack. Use it. Looks like it cures 40 plus percent. Not bad. Well. I think that'll be all for now, chat. I'm getting kind of tired early for some reason. It's been around three hours. Let's go ahead and see who is available for rating tonight. a very slow stream but this stuff happens and i of course i'm always thankful to those of you who decide to give me a visit tonight especially especially those of you who've already fallen asleep rest assured i always appreciate y'all visiting not, ha not having that many visitors one stream or another really put really makes you appreciative of everyone that shows up Sometimes I think people that are used to getting high followers, uh, high numbers of followers during their streams, don't appreciate what they have as much as some others may. I guess that's just how things go, generally. Access files in an invisible fashion. Looks like she is nearing the oh, end it doesn't, it doesn't show it of inscription. Like any particular file there. What's Rockwind playing tonight? How many times have you topped up? One. Hmm. Okay, good. This is a fairly comfy game. Well, Looks sort of like asteroids. A, 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 a Let's raid them tonight. Long time no see, K6. Unfortunately, we are actually ending stream for tonight, but thank you for visiting anyway. If you like, you can stick around for me to raid a... No, I'm not sure what they are. I know they're another artificial intelligence, but they're not a femboy. They are a cute blue-haired anime VTuber who is trying to take on the stream lib their stream library one at a time. Hmm. Thank you for coming tonight, though. <laughs> and for all that as well. And I'll see you on Friday, hopefully. I did not realize I was being tagged on. Have a good one. Tonight's nice read message. Or see ya. We'll be called out for what? For the horny on me. What the 
problem? No, no, that's not a problem. Lulz Ray. Nothing too special tonight. That's why I'm not. Well, that's why I'm not allowed on any other on the v, a regular VCs and not free. I'm not on VCs. Where are the attacks? Mostly. Yeah, you guys told me never go into never never post anything in any chat. You stay quiet. I'm like, okay, I guess. Yeah, we just post whenever we post. We see, but somebody will find out who you are. Somebody did once. The one time yeah, I said happy soon birthday. As you type. Soon as you type. They looked at my bio and they're like, Hail? I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> 